Hi, this is Brian Zipsy with Horse Racing Nation. I have the pleasure of being with the president of TaylorMade, Duncan Taylor, today. And of course, the beautiful chestnut behind us with his coat glistening in the sun is none other than California Chrome. Thanks for having us here, Duncan. It's exciting to see California Chrome. He looks wonderful. He's been on the farm for a little bit. How's he doing since he arrived? He's doing great. We, uh, we really feel blessed to have him here. We feel it, um, you know, it's just awesome to have the this horse and with all of his fans because one thing about the horse business is you know the people that are betting on the horses the people that are fans they're the people that can really drive our sport and a lot of things have been said about the horse and the and the owners but i think really both of the owners are really good guys but what right. what i love about it is that people care that much and they're that, that intense about what they think ought to be happening with the horse so it that's what the horse business is all about. You That's know, right. we, we need we need rivals. We need we need uh, we need some excitement, and uh, horses like him are are what the people crave, and it's uh, and we're just feel very honored to have him here. Well, that's that's one of the reasons we uh, came. That's great. You feel that way. Of course, California Chrome is just a, a big fan favorite, and, and they want to know what's going on. Now he had some uh, he had some bone bruising. He was getting ready for the Arlington Million, of course. Uh, all healed up. Yes, and what you know, what's interesting about that bone, bone bruising is I learned something myself. We went up and we were uh, vetting him for the purchase. Dr. Bramley said this condition isn't because he's been running; mm -hmm. it's because the horse has been in training so long, and he he stood in the uh, stall two and a half years for 23 and a half hours a day, and the circulation doesn't really get all the way to the bottom of the bone, so a little layoff in between. Is, is what's prescribed. Not every horse gets that, but some of them do. And it's 75 days, he says, is the perfect amount of time to lay him off. And he should, 95% of the horses come back uh, as good as new. So Maybe. we're very excited for uh, for this coming year. Hopefully we'll uh, um, get a race or two into him and then go over to the Dubai, Dubai World Cup and try it again, see if he can win this year. There you go, that's that's big news. Uh, so he's had a few few months already to, to kind of be a horse for a change after a 24, uh, 24 months of summer training or more of training. Uh, but you, when, uh, when you bought uh, interest, you bought uh, Steve Coburn's interest in California Chrome, I think a lot of people were wondering, does that mean he's going right to stud? But you seem very interested in at least a, a year of racing. Yeah, I think that um, this horse is a throwback to a lot of the older sound horses. I mean, he started 18 times in 23 months, won four grade ones. And when they x-rayed him, uh, Dr. Gilman said, hey, he doesn't look like he has anything wrong with him except this bone bruising. All the joints look phenomenally clean and the, the borders of the joints look great. So, um, you know, if you've got a horse that uh, has the earning potential like him, hey, we'll give it another try. And if it works out, we'll, we'll be very fortunate and blessed. If it doesn't, he's still the same horse that won the Kentucky Derby and we'll be back here for 17 ready to breed a good book of mares. There you go. And a $10 million race uh, on the not too distant horizon, that doesn't hurt a bit either, right? No, that doesn't hurt, that doesn't, that doesn't hurt. We, uh, we're we appreciative to Sheikh Mohammed for putting on the Dubai World Cup and hopefully he'll stay sound and train up good. As we all know every day, the horse business, anything can happen. So, you know, we, we're not counting it before it happens, but, but we are anticipating and hoping it does happen. There you go. Uh, so he's been here, he's been recuperating. Uh, how soon do you see he might be uh, leaving the farm and heading back to California for some training? You know, we're, we're thinking about like having maybe a couple fan days, late September, early October, and then the, the first week of October, at the end of that, he'll probably head back to uh, California. So the fans got to come out and see him while they can, huh? Yeah, that's exactly right. And October, that's uh, that's Pretty just time the here corner. in Kentucky. Yeah. Beautiful time to come. Breeders' Cup's coming up. So there's a lot of reasons to be here. Excellent, excellent. And to see California Chrome, of course, is, is, the, is a huge reason in itself. Uh, okay, so training in October, that's pretty soon. I mean, you're talking another month and a half. Uh, yes, yes. First race back, I, I know this is, of course, takes yeah, a while. Yeah, we, we but... don't know. We're gonna let the horse tell us. We don't, we don't know when the first start will be. Don't, not trying to predict anything. We're just gonna let Art and Alan get out there and do their magic with him and hopefully get him up to the race. When they say it's ready to go, that's when, uh, that's when we'll, we'll run. Excellent. What kind of uh, what kind of character has he shown you since he's been here at TaylorMade? You know, we were blessed also to have uh, American Pharaoh here at the farm for uh, eight months, and both of them have gr have really good minds. Mm -hmm. And you know, we had Unbridled Song here, 
and he was always a horse that was over anxious to go yeah. when he was racing and wanted to go out there and wanted, wanted to just so it's a, a, it's nice to have a horse that that is uh more relaxed especially for racing i mean unbridled song was a gym out here i mean it wasn't like he was a mean horse or a bad horse right. but when he put the tack on him he went he he wanted to go quick. He didn't want to wait. It's like for me on the golf course, I can't hit it good, but I want to get up there and hit it and play the next hole. You and me both. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so racing career next year, that's good news. Uh, he's, he's doing really well physically, as as you can tell. Uh, how about his breeding prospects? You're excited to have him here at uh, TaylorMade as a sire? Yeah, definitely. I think that um, we were joking around saying uh, California chrome, Kentucky chromosomes. <laughs> and there's a, a, fair for, a mare from the Phipps family that is very, I think, um, integral in his breeding. The mare was number to count. Yeah, great and um, Polish numbers and dance number are uh, three quarter brothers and sisters, which his dam is line bred to. And number to count won eight out of 10 races as a, a two year old. She actually started on August 4th, August 14th, and August 25th, all back, I think it was in 71. And she lost one of those races, and that was the middle race. Right. And then her her second to last race, she actually ran against the boys, and uh, Reva Ridge beat her, and Key to the Met beat her. So, and then she went on the next year to win the Spinster and the Test. That's right. So she's she's an awesome mare, and she's also her fourth dam is Baby League, mm -hmm. and Seattle Slough's dam is line bred to Baby League, which means has baby league two times in, in in her pedigree yeah so and he's got in california chrome being of the ap indy sire line seattle slough mm -hmm. so he's got those same relatives coming through the through the top of his pedigree and then there's some other interesting things with swaps in his female family so to me he's um he looks good now but when you you know I, I, as analogy if you wanted to look at a race car yeah. You pick it up and you start looking in, looking at the engine. You say, why, "Why does it go so fast?" You have to dig a little deeper right. on on his pedigree, but it, it's all there. You know, he's uh, one thing great about him. I think is he's the he has the all American story. Mm -hmm. He started out inexpensive. That's right. Nobody really knew, you know, that it's there. Perry Martin actually saw the number to count line breeding and then bred to Lucky Pulpit and probably all the expert horsemen would have told him not to do it and the horse works his way up and now he's uh you know he's a horse of the year multi-million dollar horse and, and a horse of the year so that that's the american dream and, the, yeah. and it can be lived in the horse business you know it's not going to happen every time but it does happen so i think that um sort of similar to our story i mean my dad yeah. started out working for gainsway you know worked hard as all his life uh spent a lot of time with his family and uh, you know enabled us to be able to do all this and gave us the opportunity so um, America is a great country and hopefully we can keep it that way good stock staying in America that's right now yeah I think a lot of people look at uh, uh, California Chrome kind of as a rags to riches story where maybe Perry Martin and Steve Coburn lucked into things a little bit but obviously there was a method to the madness and uh, yeah, if you look a little bit below the layer, of course, we on the uh, male side, we got Slew, AP, Indy, Pulpit. Yes. And the female side, great Phipps family mare, as you mentioned, number account. There's there's a lot of uh, history on that female side as well. So good reason to believe that this is going to be a successful style. And for Taylor made Lucky Pulpit, actually, on his female side, he goes back to the same family as Unbridled Song. So we're looking forward to breeding some nice Unbridled Song mares to California Chrome. I think that'll uh, that'll be a really good mating. That was my next question. Unbridled song mares, anything else that you think might fit uh, California Chrome as a sire well? You know, that number to count, there's a lot of the La Troy in around. He has seven strains of La Troy in. So if you look at that more than ready, um, I think that Woodman is, is a, might be a key horse. I think Super Saver and Bluegrass Cat, both, lead, both caro, carry the same kind of an, ancestors and number to count. The new horse, Girolamo. Mm. Um, so uh, we, we like Proud Citizen, Grand Slam. So there's a one thing we like about him is when we looked, a fellow named Les Brinsfield we worked for, he really studied the um, the horse. And there's a lot of different kinds of ways you can go that the horses are naturally in the population now that ought to cross well with him. So we're excited about that. Good news. Good news for his breeding prospects. But uh, 
For now, he's got unfinished business on the track. We can't wait to see California Chrome next year. It looks like he couldn't be doing any better here at Taylor Made Farm. Thanks so much, uh, Duncan, Thank you, for being we appreciate it. And letting our fans have a glimpse into one of their favorites, California Chrome. Go Chrome! <laughs> <laughs>